A man refused to walk his friend back to her dorms when she felt unsafe, all because she rejected him once. In his Reddit post, the man explained that he'd been friends with a woman named Annie for the last three years. On a typical Saturday night, he, Annie, and some of their friends would hang out, and then he would walk her back to her dorm before heading back to his dorm. However, about a month ago, he realized he had feelings for Annie and asked her out on a date. She friend-zoned him. It didn't bother him too much, however, he did want to cut back on their friendship a bit. But he has stopped walking her back to her dorm. Like at some point, like, was she showing any kind of signs that she liked him in any other manner, manner other than platonic? And then yeah. also at the same time, it's like that just goes to show that his his intentions weren't weren't real. Like if it was just basically he was her friend because of possibly what he was going to get out of it. That's not a friend. Hold on, so before, hold on, hold on. Listen, hold on, y'all, before I start the first video. I got to take a quick pop of my Woodford Reserve. He, I'm a Kentucky native. We don't care native. about your Woodford Reserve, okay? Oh, listen here, girl. Don't play me. Don't play me. Yeah, just because you like Four Loco. Yeah. Four Loco? What? <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah. All right, she like CJ, to drink that more. CJ, <laughs> CJ, CJ trying to play me now. She like to drink that more. Let's CJ go. trying to play me now. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. You ain't even on Four Loco. Ah. You drinking... Uh, Water. Uh, I'm a breeze or some some, some Kool Aid or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So look, first video, y'all. Look, first video. We got a man that caught feelings for one of his friends, uh, but she wasn't interested. Now he's refusing to walk her home. Damn. So let's listen to this story. It's this John podcast. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> let's go. A man refused to walk his friend back to her dorms when she felt unsafe, all because she rejected him once. In his Reddit post, the man explained that he'd been friends with a woman named Annie for the last three years. On a typical Saturday night, he, Annie, and some of their friends would hang out, and then he would walk her back to her dorm before heading back to his dorm. However, about a month ago, he realized he had feelings for Annie and asked her out on a date. She friend-zoned him. It didn't bother him too much, however, he did want to cut back on their friendship a bit. But he has stopped walking her back to her dorm. The first couple of weeks, she walked on her own. One week, she asked him to walk her back because she was scared to walk alone at midnight, especially while drunk. He told her to get an Uber or to ask someone else because he was too tired. While it's understandable that he would want to cut back on their friendship a bit after being rejected, a friendship shouldn't be conditional on romantic interest and reciprocation. It's as if he suddenly stopped caring about her safety and well-being because she didn't return his romantic feelings. The man has been accused of exhibiting nice guy behavior acting kind, but then believing he deserves a relationship in return for his friendship. People on Reddit called him out, saying if he was truly friends with Annie, he would still care about her safety. He's more than welcome to work through his feelings, but that doesn't justify his actions and his complete disrespect towards Annie. He blatantly showed that their friendship doesn't mean much after his ulterior motive was void. Gentlemen, don't be that guy. A woman doesn't owe you any- hey Man, that's bullshit. Yeah, it, it completely How, is. Yeah, come on now. Come on now. Like hey, at some on. point, like, was she showing any kind of signs that she liked him in any other manner, manner other than platonic? And then yeah. also at the same time, it's like that just goes to show that his his intentions weren't weren't real. Like if it was just basically he was her friend because of possibly what he was going to get out of it. That's not a friend. But but, but maybe his intentions were real. It's just fact that once you in that once you get put, if you put me in that friend zone, and then you expect me to do the things that a boyfriend would do? Oh, nah, you are, nah, you got it, baby. Yeah, but we and one, nobody told you to stay over that motherfucking late. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> catch an Uber. <laughs> I'm good. Nah, good. Nah, no. So you're you basically are, saying it's like some mixed signals here. Yeah, you it's are. You signals. are not getting boyfriend um, privileges being a fr being just a, a friend. No, I'm sorry. Nah, that, okay. Those, if not. Call your man. Tell your man come. So what come, about come and vice versa? You. Like when when the chicks giving giving girlfriend privilege, privileges to the guys, that's okay though. But right? what girlfriend privileges was she giving? I don't know. <laughs> we, we, we wasn't there. <laughs> Who knows what she was doing? <laughs> this is how you avoid it, my man. They, I don't think they ever said his name, but this is how you avoid it. Next time when y'all out, and y'all normally out like till twelve one, dip up out of there like ten thirty, and then say to her. Y'all got me some yams. I gotta go get y'all. I'm up out of here. All right, y'all see y'all. So that way, guess what? Now you ain't even you ain't even in that zone. You ain't even in that put in that <laughs> position no more. You ain't got to worry about how she got home. You done went and got your yams. She done did whatever she did, and now you ain't even on the hook for it no more. Easy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. 
So you saying so so cause to me, I'm thinking it's showing like a lack of maturity. So you saying right now Los and, and on who hold behalf? up, hold up. I'm just on, who on the God. Oh, so okay, that's okay. why I'm asking y'all. Okay. So let me let me get my question out. Shut the hell up. I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> She's so aggressive. <laughs> Go. So a chick friend zone you. Mm-hmm. And you kind of sort of separate yourself a little bit. No, not not separate. Just just back off. Back off a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So if you were the type where you was always making sure that she was getting home, oh, make sure you let me know when you get home and all that other stuff. And then she friends on you, saying, oh, well, you know what? I don't want to take this, you know, to another level. Let's just stay friends. Would you would you stop doing that? Well, yeah, because I was only laying the groundwork to get the coochie. Oh wow. I mean, <laughs> like if we, if if it happens, if it happens that we outside late or whatever and cool, like, all right, yeah, as a, as a gentleman, I'm going to make sure you, but I would make, I would, if I'm out, yes, I would pre, I would preempt myself like, all right, I'm not going to be here late. So she think I'm going to walk her home, buy her food. I'm not doing none of that. I'm going to get out of here early. So that way you ain't even expecting it. Oh yeah. Up, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 1030. Yeah. Got this little shorty coming through. I'm out of here. So that way, I, she don't have to. Now you don't. You don't even put the, put yourself in that predicament because if she says something like, "Well, wait, you ain't gonna wait for me," and no, why would I wait for you? You ain't my girl. So yeah, I'm up out of here. I gotta go meet Janine. We gonna go get freaky over here, okay? Did you ever heard of hot to her? Yes, I'm gonna go get hot to her. All right. So you, I'm about to go get hot to her. Yeah. So you wanna stay here with Michelle and them? Do your thing, but deuces i'm out of here like that's how i that's how i see it like i wouldn't yeah, i wouldn't put myself in any, any more predicaments where she feel like she can rely on me on that on that level i would i would just take myself out of that equation yeah, so now, I'm, not, I'm not calling you at night i'm not doing none of that now now, now what i would do i mean i'll let you sleep on the couch i'm not giving up my bed because you're a friend i ain't giving up my bed you, you can sleep on the couch no and if i don't have a couch if, I, if she, if I, she I sleep on your couch you come to join on the, on the couch <laughs> you coming to join on the couch? You know, hey, listen, I've known to be a thief in the night. <laughs> oh yeah, you did say you hold up. You did say at one time you was a uterus collector. Yeah, the uterus collector, goddamn it. He the Grinch, but he ain't still a Christian. <laughs> she opened. She opened up my closet door. What's that? Uh, that's not just my uterus I collected over the years. <laughs> hey, but that, that's on you. So any, look, let's go to the comments. Hey, we got Jaleel is. in the house. Hey, Jaleel. Elbow in the building. Elbow in the building. Elbow Let's get Elbow here. Yeah. Tune in to the Disc no, Jordan. Sorry, wrong one. <laughs> Elbow Boogie, there you go. <laughs> God damn it. Elbow in the building. So look, the first comment, the first comment oh, says, man. maybe she should go ask the bear. Oh, my, listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Oh, that, now that I cut deep right this there. conversation <laughs> with two different groups of women and it was just so weird how like I, this is how you could tell that women don't use logic and i'm not saying this is all women so please don't be like oh, blah, blah, blah. but there was so many women that was on the oh i'm taking the bear like that just to me that's just <laughs> that's delusion like that's just very delusional that you would be in a forest and pick a damn bear but okay cool I, if that's what y'all want to do like go ahead do your thing that just makes no sense to me like <laughs> oh, hold on Elbuggy asked if we change the start time no we ain't change the start time it's always been 8 o'clock we just was on time this time Elbuggy. yeah you see know. that's what it was see. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean he wasn't yeah. on CPT this Look, time yeah you know black people they don't act like they don't know how to start on time yeah, yeah. Ain't, ain't that like the I gotta push him like, hey, hey, come on, start the timer. This is this is coming from okay, the, production. Uh, yeah, this is coming from you know the black woman who take forever to, to get dressed. Probably actually, exactly. it don't. <sighs> That's one thing about me. I'm not the typical female. If somebody tell me they on their way, I'm outside by the time you get there. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something we want. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Well, let's go to the second comment. And if it do take me a while, I'm integrating that all into that prep that prep time. So you know. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, listen. So, second comment. Hold on, would you play the violin for me? Wait a minute. Well, did I hear some violin playing? No, you're about to hear them crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Look, second comment says, she wants the girlfriend treatment without being a girlfriend. That's what I said. Most women want this, the, yeah, uh, you can. the girlfriend treatment yeah. without being a girlfriend. Yeah. And vice versa, guys be wanting the boyfriend slash man treatment without nah, being a nah, girlfriend. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Let me, just ask, let me ask cheeks. How, how how can a guy want the boyfriend treatment? Because, I mean, I can't see a guy asking his 
lady friend. Hey, listen, why don't you go in the kitchen and make me a fucking ham sandwich or something like that? Or, you know what I'm saying? Hey, can you wash these clothes for yeah, me? Yeah, or wash the clothes. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, you must be crazy. I got a man at home. So how can a guy want that tri- type of treatment? <laughs> no, see, see, what happens is, is y'all guys, y'all be real slick with it, you know, in, in terms of the terminology and how you speak and how you ask the things. Oh, y'all, is that what be, it is? Yes, that's what it is. Uh, see, I'm the type man, I would just be like, I come, I'm blunt. Hey, pull your titty out. Damn. <laughs> Put it in my mouth. <laughs> and Excuse me, what'd you say? Oh, nothing. <laughs> and I'm the total opposite. I'll, I could be starving. I ain't asking you a goddamn thing. I don't want you to think that I'm that guy. You are? You hungry? Nope. <laughs> mm, I'm good. No, you will not go back Sitting to your girlfriend. Starving. Will not go back to your girlfriend's girl. I done made him all this. And he ain't got nope, nope. Nope. Hey. All right. So, look, so, last comment. She isn't his responsibility, and I believe that's true. Yeah, that's true. She's her own yeah. responsibility. Yeah. Like, depending on how old they are, but yeah, hey. I, well, you know, she should be able to find her own way home. Exactly. Catch an Uber. That's, and that's why no. I said if he don't... I just don't like how he switched up on her like that. That's all. Like, yeah, I mean, I mean if, you're, that's if you're really her friend, like, okay, yeah. yeah, if you feel some kind of way, if your feelings hurt, okay, yeah, I, I can understand you you trying to step back a little bit, but not like that, because that just basically shows that you just weren't genuine to be, to be from the beginning. But that's why I said instead of him like you know doing a whole 180 on her just switch up your your, your, your position a little bit yeah instead of leaving at 12 12 30 when they all leaving is she expecting that yeah. dip out early dip right. so that, that way 8, 10 o'clock now yeah now now it's not my responsibility i left before y'all so i ain't got nothing to do with me right and she can't expect like oh well, how come you ain't wait for me you ain't my responsibility yeah like first of all did we even go to the party together like right. i thought Hello. i met you there or i was there before even you. if we did <laughs> if i'm out i'm out like you your own person i'm out Hey, hey, listen here, baby. I got some skins to get to. So, (laughs) make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Y'all tell us what you think.